All right, on the bench today is a Precision Power Source by Power Designs Incorporated, Westbury, New York, and Palo Alto, California. Interesting. Um, I guess they have two locations. So it is a 0 to 20 volt DC, 0 to 500 milliamps. So it's a precise setting, but it's pretty heavy duty. It's 500 milliamps, which is quite a bit of current. Now it does the 0 to 20 volts in two different ranges. It has a 0 to 10 volt range and then a 10 to 20 volt range. So the switch right here basically adds 10 volts. That's, that's what it does. And it's got these really cool switches that I've always liked. Uh, so 3.1 dot two dot dot three so uh yeah it's it's pretty cool i've always i've always enjoyed these um so let's uh let me get an adapter here so we can play with this thing all right i'll put this on here so i can clip leads to it let me uh, change the camera here a bit so we can see a uh, voltmeter uh, can you see, can you see that? I wish, I wish this would stay. I don't know how to keep the uh, LED backlight on. So I'll just have to push it once in a while. Uh, so we will connect it here and 3.0004 volts. So 3.000, uh, it's doing, it's doing pretty good. Uh, let's set it to five volts, 4.999, very nice, eight volts. 4.999. So it does have a, uh, a chopper stabilized amplifier in there that takes some time to settle. So um, it uh, is quite good. So there is a current limit adjust. Uh, there's a vernier, so you can get a little bit more digits out of here. So you can get uh, uh, 100 microvolts uh, per division on this on this uh, ver vernier here. Um, okay, let me show you the uh, times 10. So we're at 8, and uh, it we should be at 18. So 17.998 volts. Pretty damn close. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's a meter on the front that's either volts or amps. Um, it's really nice. It works, it works well. Um, I think everybody probably wants to see inside this thing. It's... Uh, Basically, some expensive resistors and a power supply um, with a good stable reference, right? You need to have some type of voltage source that is a stable reference. So we can see how they've see how they've done that. Um, but yeah, let's take a look inside. Take the top off, and uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, pretty old school inside. Now this is a very, very interesting thing here. Uh, this thing actually gets quite toasty. It is actually an oven uh, amplifier. It's an amplifier in an oven. So it keeps the, uh, keeps the device quite stable. So, and this is their own. This is not uh, something they purchased. It says uh, Power Design Incorporated on it. And it says Reference Amplifier Oven. So the references in here and the amplifier and everything is in this uh, uh, oven, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't know if you can see way down in there, but there is no PC board. Um, there is a board, um, but there are no printed circuits. It is a circuit board, but there are no printed circuits. There's all of these uh, grommets, and that's all it is, is a bunch of grommets. And so uh, we, need to, we need to open up the other side here. Okay, take the screws out, and there we go. There's the circuit. And if you notice, there's no PC board. Um, no PC board. Everything is point-to-point -point wiring. Now, there is this um, board with all of these grommets in it, kind of grommets slash standoff that you can wire things to, and it is all point-to-point, -point, but the grommets have been put in a particular pattern to make it, to make it their very own, to make it what they, what they want. Um, get a pointer out here. But we can see some uh, transistors here. They're, they're dead bug. They're upside down. Uh, and it looks like maybe there's an uh, operational amplifier over here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six pins. Interesting. Um, so that's probably not an operational amplifier. That's probably a, a dual transistor. Um, the emitters are probably tied together, and uh, it's a it's a dual uh, a dual pair uh, hidden hidden fuse in there. Uh, these two resistors are the calibration resistors. There's a cutout over here that you can reach in, and one of them is zero, a zero, and one of them is a cal. Um, these resistors for are calibrating the the uh, volts and amps uh, meter on the front. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty wild stuff, huh? You thought you had old school. Well, this is old, old school. Let me let me try to get a little closer for you. Yeah. There she goes. There's not uh, not a lot in here. Doesn't need to be. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, expensive parts, which is the, those those switches on the front. That must have some nice resistors. And uh, yeah, there they are. So I, they don't have a, a percentage on them. RW202, it's a 2K. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what precision those are. I've never, ever seen a resistor that looks that way. Uh, so they are square resistors. Interesting. Uh, so there you go. There are some capacitors in here that are probably aging. Um, and the capacitors are marked power design. So there are branded, branded capacitors they bought special for this thing. Uh, had their name put on them. Pretty wild stuff. Let me show you the back. Model 2005A, regulation 100 microvolt, uh, ripple 100 microvolt P2P, programming constant 1000. Oh, so you can program it from the back uh, here. You can have a, a, a resistor that's 1000 ohms per volt of adjustment. Mm -hmm. Stability less than 0.001% uh, for eight hours. Uh, kind of a complicated uh, stability. Output current limit, remote sensing, remote probably, yeah. Very cool. And uh, you can, instead of using the bananas on the front, you can, you can come back here. Um, DC, DC sense, and... Uh, there's a, there's a, uh, this is earth ground, but then there's a, a, a plus and a minus for the actual, uh, for the actual device. I don't know if you caught that on the front, but there's also, a DC plus, DC minus, and then an earth ground here. Uh, so you can tan, tie these together if you are so inclined. Um, but otherwise, yeah, she works a treat. Um, I did uh, tweak the calibration just to, you know, put it spot on. I don't know how long it'll stay there, but it's certainly good to these three digits. Absolutely good to these three digits. Uh, the fourth digit's a little, a little trickier. Um, it's not going to be there, but it, but you will be able to uh, do delta measurements, right? So if you have a circuit. A lot of times these are good not for absolute things, but for delta things. Like if you want to change things 100 microvolts, you can, you can do that. You can do that here. But using this as a cal standard, yeah, it's not going to be quite, not going to quite be there. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, well that's been uh, what's on the bench today, the Model 2005 uh, power supply. I've always wanted one of these. I've, I've, uh, I've seen them before, prices I couldn't afford. Um, I got this one super, super, super cheap, and uh, it's really nice. I got, I got to find a nice place for it.